And we're off to a wonderful start. One nine two. <laughs> I like doing that. Four three five. Actually, no, that's not correct. Two two one. So that was I was still over on time. Hey guys, welcome to the range. Today I wanted to do a video on um, whatever. Whenever I'm doing a video. I put a caption on the screen and it's up for four seconds and then it disappears and every once in a while somebody says hey I can't read that fast Click. pause folks it's digital media I'm sorry to have look I'm sorry that I put that look on my face just now folks pause you have control of the media now we now live in an age where you can pause something and back it up if you have to. But whenever I put a caption on the screen, it's up for four seconds. And the reason for that is it's going to take you roughly two seconds to kind of react to it. And then pause. And then read it. And then when you're done reading, press play. And the reason I do that, sometimes I'll have information on the screen that is considerable. And what I don't want to do is put it on the screen for 10, 12 seconds. Because I don't like stopping the media that's going on. For you guys to read things I, I put things on the screen as addendums or as um i don't know I, I just put things on the screen for information you need to have and i want to be able to not block what's going on in the action and like for example if someone's talking a uh, teaching moment like when when my friend shane kerwin is teaching i'll put information on the screen about him or the other instructors in the in the uh, in the media area and i want you to be able to not have to split your attention from what he's teaching, but I want you to also understand what it is that they're talking about or who they are and why they have relevance to what they're teaching. So just pause it, read it, and then journey on. Because what ends up, what ended up happening years ago, I would, it was irritating. I would type everything I needed to type, I'd put it on the screen, and it would start to roll. And then I would sit there and I would read it. Like for example, there's a saying, um, a, uh, an axiom, that I really like and I was talking about that axiom in a rifle video and I added it in in post-production and it goes like this let it be plain and simple of good and substantial quality unembellished by any superfluities which add nothing to its goodness or durability that's what seven eight seconds something like that for the average reader would probably have to have it on screen for 10 to 12 seconds so imagine 12 seconds out of a video where stuff is going on on the screen that you need to be paying attention to but now I've done this effect right here to have that axiom on the screen it's a, not an axiom it's a shaker motto so for you to have this on the screen long enough for you to comfortably read it I've got to keep it up for like 10 or 12 seconds so meanwhile imagine that I'm doing something productive in the background that you need to be seeing and or hearing but no I've got this on the screen that's why whenever I've got something of importance that I want you to see I put it up for one and two and three and four and then it disappears and that gives you enough time to go oh hang on I want to read that pop pop back it up pause journey on that's why as always i thank you guys for watching i thank you for your support of this channel and your donations and your sling purchases god bless you all get those guns out in practice have a good one